Bonjour, my beautiful friend, and welcome to Eating Well with Muriel. Today, I've got a fabulous recipe for you. It's my grandma's cauliflower, except we're going to make it purple cauliflower. It's from my book uh, with Andrew Lesman, Healthy Veggies Made Delicious, Cruciferous, Leafy Greens, and more. Okay, check out my page. You have my grandma's recipe and step-by-step -step picture on how to make the recipe. It's super easy. This is going to taste so amazing. You're not going to believe the low calorie content. And let me show you the cover page of the book so you can order it and subscribe underneath. Okay? Okay, look at all my ingredients, all right? We have one whole purple cauliflower, could be any color, of course, beautiful. And I have a quarter of a cup of garbanzo flour. It can be replaced by any flour you like. Even cornstarch would work. I've got, of course, salt and pepper. I've got a little nutmeg to give it some flavor. I've got a cup of Carlsberg cheese, you could use Swiss cheese, you could use any cheese that you really like, okay? I've got three tablespoons of butter and I've got a cup and a half of warm skim milk. Let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do here <laughs> is turn on my oven at 375. Now we're going to cut our cauliflower in little florets and we're going to try to have them as equal as possible, right? Not one green thing and small, no. So I'm going to remove all the leaves, wash it first, right? So you discard these leaves right there. What we want is about this side, I think that would be good. So I remove the end. Okay, and now I just have to cut. So since they are kind of big flurry, I'm just going to cut them like this. I'm going to steam this for 20 minutes with a little salt on it. Okay, let's butter our dish. I like to be quite generous with my butter, but you don't have to do that at all. You can just put a little bit. Let me show you how to do my grandma's bechamel. Bechamel is the mother of all sauces in France. The basic is usually butter with a little flour, and then you can add some milk. It's going to thicken and make it a delicious creamy sauce. Today, what's awesome is we're making it with skim milk and it works fabulously. Of course, some people in France use cream, you could use broth, anything works, okay? And I add cheese to it, of course. So let me show you how to do our super delicious, we call it white sauce when I was a little girl. So we're gonna do the butter first, we're gonna melt it, add our flour, and once that forms a roux, what we call in France a roux, which is kind of a thick, beigey brown paste, we slowly got to add warm milk, okay? After the sauce thickened a little bit, I'm gonna add the nutmeg, salt and pepper, and a little cheese. I will reserve half of the cheese to cover my cauliflower so it's nice and golden, okay? So my cauliflower, I steam a minimum of 10 minutes. You can leave it a little longer if you like it more cooked. Remember, we're putting this in the oven, so it's gonna be cooked for 20 minutes in the oven. So I put it in my tray, and I'm kind of gonna place it a little cute, okay? I'm kind of quite girly sometimes. My bechamel, my white sauce is done. Look at this, super beautiful and creamy. I'll add a little more cheese. Oven is at 375 and I'm going to put it for 20 minutes or until about golden. I mean, really? How beautiful and cool is this? This is so French, but it really makes for me the American and French thing since in France I had never seen purple cauliflower when I was young, so it might be a little hard to try. So if you serve the whole thing, you can decorate with a little sage like this or any herbs and then nice and creamy, thick, 
cheesy and beautiful. I hope I'm not gonna burn myself. <laughs> I loved it. My friend, thank you so much for watching Eating Well with Muriel. It's a pleasure to have you in my kitchen. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, red button down underneath. Check out my website. You know what to do. You're awesome. I'll see you next time.